Hey everyone, welcome to the Kinder Talk Podcast. I'm Natalie, a kinder teacher turned kinder teacher supporter who now helps kindergarten teachers do the best that they can do at their job. Today I want to talk about the things that you can be doing to help your kids get ready for kindergarten. Maybe you've asked yourself before, is my child ready for kindergarten or what can I do to help my child prepare for their first year of school? I'm going to talk you through five things that as a kindergarten teacher, I would want my son to know and I think that your child should know in order to be ready for kindergarten. I want to talk through some unique things that you might not think of when you're readying your children for kindergarten. The first thing that I think of is I want my child to be able to follow two step directions. So for example, go get your coat and your shoes or go get a fork and put food on your plate. Being able to do two-step directions like this is really going to help your child in the classroom when their teacher asks them to do things. Oftentimes, tasks are not broken up into four different steps, and kids are expected to do things in two steps. Maybe that's not a normal routine in your household, which is totally normal, but by kindergarten, we want them to kind of be thinking about being able to do two steps. So start practicing that at home with some of like the examples that I already said. Get your shoes and put your coat on, or get your dinner and a fork, or brush your teeth and put your pajamas on. Try doing simple things like that, and then your child will naturally start to do those two-step directions. Those are really, really going to help your child out. When they're in the classroom, there's a lot going on, and they already know how to follow those two-step directions, and they're not learning that as well as getting acclimated to kindergarten. The next thing I want to talk through is social-emotional. Social-emotional skills and getting ready for kindergarten are just as important as academic. One major thing is for a child to be able to take deep breaths when they're getting frustrated. There's a lot that happens in the kindergarten classroom. There's a lot of movement, a lot of noise, a lot. And there's a lot that they're expected to do these days. If your child is able to take a second when they think about they're getting frustrated or they feel themselves getting anxious, they're able to identify that feeling and take a few deep breaths. If you practice this skill with your children at home, it's really going to help them when dealing with emotions at school and their safe person maybe isn't there. So try doing this at home, maybe establishing a mindfulness corner or somewhere where a child can go when they are feeling a little bit frustrated and practice taking a few deep breaths so that way they can come back into their normal situation and move on with their day. Them being able to identify that stressed feeling or anxious feeling is going to move mountains when they're in kindergarten and they're dealing with these things in a public setting. The third thing that I want to talk through is still a little bit unique, but these days kindergartners are expected to eat super fast. When you're at home this summer or getting ready for your kindergartner to go to school, I want you to practice with them eating a meal in 20 minutes. Now, this might seem like a disaster waiting to happen, but I promise you it is possible and I have seen it done. Now, The reason why we want to see kids be able to eat in 20 minutes is because by the time that the kindergarten class gets to the lunchroom, they sit down, they get their food, they have lunches, their lunch boxes, and by the time that they pack up to leave, it's generally around 20 minutes. And this is all while they're socializing and talking to their friends and talking to their teachers. And so we really want them to be able to focus on their food as well as talking. So if you're at home, kind of set a timer at dinner time, not that they can see, but mentally get, you know, 20 minutes in your mind and watch to see how much they eat in 20 minutes to kind of see, okay, what do we need to work on? Are they distracted or are they talking a lot? So then that way they can, you can know how to get them to be able to finish a lot of their food in 20 minutes. They're probably not going to be able to finish all of their lunch, but you do want them to get in a lot of nutrients because it's going to help them for the rest of the day. The last two things I want to talk about are academic, and we want to first think about having your child know their letters and sounds separate from the alphabet song. The alphabet song is great, it's catchy, it helps us to learn our letters, but most of the time if a child just knows the alphabet song, they won't be able to point out on a piece of paper the letter B and that it makes the sound B. You want your child to know each letter and each sound separately from each other. So that way, if you gave them a piece of paper with the alphabet totally mixed up, a bunch of random letters, they would be able to tell you 
A, I, C, K, B, B. They would be able to tell you all of the letters and sounds in whatever order they may be. That will give them a strong foundation as they work into creating words and decoding words. That way they can have a really great strong phonemic awareness and a great foundation as they head into reading and writing and it's really going to help them with the whole kindergarten year. The last thing that your child really should know before they go to kindergarten is how to hold and use a pencil and a pair of scissors. A lot of kids come into kindergarten, maybe they've drawn before, but they kind of just hold it like this and scribble all over the page, or maybe they've never really used scissors before, but it's perfectly developmentally appropriate for children to use scissors in a safe way, and helping them to know how to use them before coming to kindergarten is really going to help. Cutting and pasting is a key skill in kindergarten because there are so many cut and paste activities. A lot of center activities or group activities and even independent activities are done in a cut and paste manner. This is so that kids can practice with those fine motor skills and also because it's fun and it's more engaging. So if your kindergartner knows how to use a pencil and scissors, it's going to give them a huge leg up. They're not going to be really, really working super hard to get those things cut out. They're going to easily cut them out, get their assignment done, and they're going to actually get what the purpose of the assignment was, not just focusing on cutting out and getting it done quickly because they're already going to know how to do it. Those are my five tips on how to get your kindergartner ready for kindergarten. I hope that this was helpful and please listen to our other Kinder Talk podcast if you want to learn about other things about your kindergarten classroom. Maybe if you're a teacher or a parent, we have lots of helpful tips and also make sure to check out twinkle.com. We have so many hundreds of thousands of kindergarten resources ready for you to print out and practice with your child. 